came into salvation on, but he broke through. Because I had to play your man back. I know. I done heard some of them preach on the whole armor and talk about the helmet of salvation. And he bust right on through that helmet. Oops, right upside the head. So he says something. He says, this kind only go up by prayer and fasting. He said, what kind? Now I've done some research here, some extensive research. That three, there are three interpretations. One of the Bible said that he was a lunatic. The other Bible said that he was moonstruck. The new version of the Bible said he had an epileptic seizure. Now I need to really need to understand this here. He has the other Bible that said that he was a lunatic. What he was saying is that when the moon changes positions or the moon changes, it alters the atmosphere and it releases certain demonic influences into the earthly atmosphere. Ah, God, I feel you now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? What was Jesus really saying to the disciples? He said, you're not consecrated enough to deal with this kind of demon. My God, I feel you in this place. We might run out of CD, but we're not going to run out of DVD. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I need you to grab this here because I believe by the Spirit of God that this kind is being released in the hour that we're in. I believe that something is being shaken in the atmosphere and demons are being released to influence mankind that we have never dealt with. Now, we are accustomed to dealing with some kinds of demons. I'll prove it. You remember Luke 10? One of the disciples come running back and say, Oh God, even, even we see Satan fall like lightning. And even the spirits are subject to us in your name. He says, Rejoice not in this that spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your name has been written in the Lamb Book of Life. Now, this is after they had some great victory and they had conquered demonic activity in the earth and then they come over here and they're failing against this the kind of demon because he said I took them to your disciple but they couldn't do nothing. Jesus looked at them and said how long must I be with you? Oh you, you of little faith how long must I suffer with you? You still ain't getting it. You are gonna have to break your plate. You are gonna have to kill your flesh because the kind that being released now you don't have enough consecration. My God to deal with this kind if you you're going to get him out and he's deeply rooted in that individual. You got to be deeply rooted in God. My God. And your consecration in God must be deeper than the demonic possession in him. Somebody said I got to get it at the root. That's why the Bible talks about being rooted and grounded. I got to get so entangled and tied up in God that nothing can move me. They say, well, what do you eat? He said, I have food that you know not about. My food is to do the will of you who have sent me. I come to talk to somebody that's getting ready to break your plate because there's another level of power that you ain't had yet. And the devil is about to take a nervous and break down and demons are trembling because he realized that God is prepared for all of it to take this world out of the court. He realized that something is going on in Fort Worth that people are being empowered, that people are being transformed, that people are being made into warriors on the behalf of the kingdom, not the living soul. This guy, who is about plastic and green. This guy. How many guys come? Family members, friends, and stuff that got demons that just kind of came in the deal. This guy. This guy. But see, see, cousin, I was addicted to but I just can't help him. You were addicted. Come on. To the level that they are addicted. That demon you got, you got rid of him. But this demon mm -hmm. that that other person got that's addicted, uh -huh. it's much stronger. Yeah. Well, how is he much stronger? Yeah. Because the length of time that he's been in that, he's fortified. Oh, oh, Come here, God. I say he's fortified. He, he's made himself a fortress. Yes. He, he's made himself a fort. 
and he's going to fight anybody and everybody that tries to make him come out because he's saying to himself, this is my house. That's right. come on, come on, come on. I took it by force. I'm the strong man over this establishment. God said that this was his house, but I took it. And I'm not letting it go. And I won't recognize anything but a false. By what authority do you tell me to come out? Yes. Well, I tell you to come out in the authority of Jesus that Paul preached about. Oh. I know Paul. I sure not know Jesus. Who is you? That's right. We're butt naked. Now, why are you saying this to us? Come on, Apostle. Come on. Pastor Griffin preached this. Why are you saying this to us? There's a reason I'm saying it to you. Their father was a chief priest in the synagogue. They were religious men. That's right. They went to the synagogue faithfully. That's the Jewish equivalent of the church. They sit in there on a regular basis. They didn't miss a service. But they didn't have authority. Could it be possible that we, we come to church and sit in the service, but we don't have any power? Yes, Lord. Because we don't have any relationship. Yes. See, if I'm related to you, this is going to bless you. If I'm related to you, when I move from this earthly realm, you receive an inheritance. God, I almost lost it. Work it. Whatever I had is no longer mine yeah. 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 because it wasn't needed in the realm that I'm making my transition to. God, help me. It's needed in the realm that I made my transition from. So I'm leaving it for you to guarantee you the victory over the spirits that I got the victory of. I'm not leaving you as orphans. You might not have it in a measure, but you're going to have it in you. Come on, man. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Let's go here. Matthew chapter number 4, verse number 4, the Bible says that, that, that Jesus had fasted 40 days. I want to talk to somebody who, who's fighting temptation. The greatest victory over temptation is a 40 day fast. He wasn't tempted by a demon. He was tempted by the daddy of demons. And it took him 40 days to reduce himself to the lowest possible term. His flesh had no authority. He was living off the word. Oh, God help me. Oh, I feel God getting ready to blow some folks up in the Holy Ghost. His best was to survive the temptation. It's not a sin to be tempted. It's a sin to give place to the temptation. God speaking to somebody now and you saying, oh God, I'll die. If I fast for it, I fast at 90. Come on. Weak is a willow. Little water, little protein. Barely enough to keep you 
But I went down in Louisiana and a woman, I don't care, I don't care what she said, my wife was there. I just said, I don't know, I think the woman was dead. Because she was laying over there wrong. It scared me so bad when they brought her up there. That woman, her, her neck was hanging down. That she broke like a beast rag in the middle. And they brought her back there and put her on us. And I'm saying, I'm visiting. I'm visiting. Visit. Visitor. Not preaching, not talk. Visitor. And we have to get put on the spot with the pastor. That is the pastor's problem. <laughs> and he ain't fall down like there's a new creation. Woo! <laughs> and the devil, I'm praying. Why are you saying this kind? I'm praying. And I've never encountered this kind of demon before. The girl's not responding. She's not saying anything. And I'm praying in the name and in the blood of Jesus. Lord, I know what your word says. She will surely live and not die. God, you're able. God, I'm speaking right now to the spirit of this girl. And I got a demon in my ear saying, you might need to call 911. I think so. I mean, while I'm praying, I'm up to y'all laughing. Uh -huh. I wish you were the You the pick. Jesus said, I mean, you need to call one. He said, I I'm not looking at her. I'm praying. Now I'm in the spirit. He said, look at her. So I said, ooh. Oh, she done turned great. All the coloration that went out of her mouth, she done turned great. And I'm really, I, oh God. So I pause, probably study praying in the name of Jesus. I command you to live in the name of Jesus. And, and probably got to pick her head. Her head just fall, probably trying to hold her head. Her head just fall. And I, I done stopped praying. Because I got warfare that broke out in my head. And I said, Lord, what's going on? He said, that's this kind. That's this kind right here. That, that, that's this kind. That's what you're going to be dealing with in Louisiana a whole lot. That's why I had you on this thing. Because if you're going to last out here, you're dealing with a whole lot, a whole other region of people. Them the demons have lost their religion and hate them. And them are some of these people down here trying to kill them. Oh. So we pray, we pray, we pray, and then we pray. And I'm coming, we pray, we pray. And then the pastor, she feels her power. And I recuperate, I recuperated. And I said, I, 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 I took my hands off. And then I put both of my hands on the head. And I said, the name of Jesus. I got mad now because I got a devil in this ear. And he's telling me she's going to die, she's going to die. And y'all going to be arrested for involuntary manslaughter because they had time to get her to the hospital. But you're sitting back there trying to play out. You're so awesome in the Holy Ghost. I know you want to I know you want me to try to get me. I got time to be busy now. I got to tell you to call him truth. So we been praying, we praying. And then, and the pastor say, you see Jesus? Jesus is standing right here. Wherever there's two or three gathered in his name, he ran in the middle and the eyes moving. I said, hold up now. I said, in the name of Jesus, she gonna live. I said, look at that. She said, look at you. Open your eyes and look at you. She eyes got big like that. Went from being a dish rag to a jerk. One foot went to. And then the glory came out. And, and then I just went off and the Holy Ghost did. And, and property was right. Property didn't move. Didn't give no ground up. And pastor. But I thought I was only me. I thought I was the only one of the weak vessel. So I, I went to share it because I can't keep I got a big mouth. So I said, Papa said, that thing is telling me. She said, hey, he told me to. She went back. I went as pastor. Pastor said, I wasn't going to say nothing, but he told me that my church was going to be closed down. They were going to come in with the family. I said, so the people were talking to all of us up in our minds while we were Now what kind of devil is that? Why are you praying? He ain't saying nothing to the girl, but he's talking in your head. trying to distract y'all and to get you discombobulated because he knows he couldn't hold on much longer because y'all were concentrated and y'all had been released from what the deal called the world and called the world. Yes, ma'am. 
she walked right out of that door on the home street. She said, well, you already got her because she was gone. <laughs> Thank you. 